Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Tarot. <sighs> Hope everyone's well. Sorry Friday kind of got away from me, so this is going to be quick. <laughs> For those of you who are new here, this is the weekend top and bottom of the deck reading. I go by the elements. It's cancer season, so I'll start with water, go my way around the wheel. Same as the general zodiac sign reading. If it resonates, cool. If it doesn't, it's not your reading. Time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. Cross watches are always welcome. Let's get her going. Water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Oh boy, this weekend you are all wrapped up in your thoughts about something, having to pick up some pieces. Let's see what happened. High Priestess in the upright, Knight of Swords in the reverse. Very strong connection, probably a divine one. For whatever reason, communication stagnant, delayed, cut off. Fast forward, we have the Tower and the Four of Cups. Some kind of calamity. Sudden and abrupt change in the situation may or may not have been caused by someone not seeing the cup that was trying to be handed to them. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. What about this weekend? Four of swords in the reverse, five of wands in the reverse. Restless energy, trying to avoid confrontation. That makes sense. Let's get your advice, friends. Queen of Wands in the upright, King of Pentacles in the upright. Mm. You have the power upon your own path to move forward in whatever way that's going to serve you best. It's going to lead you to the path of abundance. You just need to remember. You have the power. Okay? You're the one in control. Just take a breath. Okay? Just take a breath. Everything's going to be fine, water sign friends. Just take a breath. Fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What's going on with my fire sign friends this weekend? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'll shuffle that one more time. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. World card in the upright. Something's going stagnant. Possibly leading to the end of a cycle. Okay, what happened? Five of Swords and the Empress. <sighs> Negotiations, picking up the pieces. This may be someone that you have a family with, possibly. Could be a Gemini you're dealing with. Fast forward, High Priestess in the reverse, King of Cups. Its connection was in very deep emotion, but it's not mutually acknowledged. Okay. Someone could be feeling it a little bit deeper than the other. This weekend, the Magician, Page of Swords in the reverse. Okay, so this weekend you're taking it upon yourself to manifest what you want in your life and you're possibly cutting off communication with someone. Okay. Right on. I'm all about positive vibes this weekend. And being Sagittarian, I'll, I'm 
I'm all for it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm all for it. It's going to be one heck of a weekend for me. All right, let's get your advice, friends. Three of swords, two of wands, both in the upright. This is a heartbreaking situation indeed, probably for both parties involved. But in order to move forward, upon whatever the path you're supposed to go on, you have to let something go. You can't just stand at the crossroads forever. So if something's got to close out, something's got to close out. And just because it's closing out doesn't mean it doesn't return. So keep that in mind too. Manifest what you want in your life. A chapter must end for a new one to begin. Okay. Earth signs. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Get back in there. One more. These cards never want to shuffle. That's a good sturdy card. Eight of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. Communication coming in quick. Possibly a little bit too much. Possibly the person you're dealing with could be a little bit clingy, a little bit needy, a little bit codependent. Maybe you're feeling a little clingy, needy, or codependent. Take it out it resonates. All right, what happened? The Empress, Ten of Swords. The Gemini you're dealing with, it could be someone you have a family with, doesn't necessarily have to be, but painful cycles closing out here. The sun, the sun, sorry, this is the past. A painful cycle closed out. The worst of it's over, or was over, was over. Funny thing about cycles. Old ones start, new ones begin. Fast forward. <sighs> Wrapped up in thoughts, but not heartbroken. Get a quick clarifier in about two seconds. Ah, three reversed threes. Some of you could be coming out of a third party situation. I think this weekend you could well be disconnecting from certain things and situations, not laying down a foundation because you, you came out of a state of heartbreak. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Hi. Princess of Pentacles. You may have been wrapped up in the why, 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 and somebody came in with an apology and you were able to process that heartbreak and put it out of your mind because there was closure there. Right on, let's get your advice. Six of Pentacles in the reverse, Prince of Pentacles in the reverse. Your advice this weekend with this disconnect, if it's not fair and equal, the first time, it may never be. And if they did come back with an apology, ask yourself why they apologized. Let me give you a couple of more. The Hierophant and the King of Swords in the reverse. Okay. This was a life lesson. I'm not seeing this as the blessed union Hierophant. I'm seeing this as the teacher-student Hierophant. Oh, yeah. This was a life lesson. You were meant to learn something from this. So, moving forward... 
with this King of Swords in the reverse, try to maintain a positive attitude. If your attitude about it isn't so positive, and don't make decisions based on emotion. Try to be more logical, okay? Don't know who that was for. That was a little scattered, but it is what it is. What comes out the cards comes out the cards, guys. Air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Two of Cups upright, Ace of Cups reversed. There's a connection, but nothing's coming of it. Okay. In the past, we have a Four of Pentacles and a Sun. Some of you may well have been holding on to things from a, from a different connection. That was very powerful. Okay. Oh, the devil and the four of wands reversed. Oi, oi, oi. The connection's a little bit too powerful. It may have been like a cement shoes connection. I think this Ace of Cups reversed here is someone not taking the cup for whatever reason. I'm sensing a little bit of fear off that card. I think you tried to close the door on this connection. Could have been a Capricorn or a Leo you were dealing with this weekend. Yes. Yes, Queen of Swords and Justice. Think you may finally cut a connection off for good and, and allow balance to come back into your life. That's a beautiful thing. That's awesome. Let's get your advice. Ace of Pentacles in the upright, Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Go down the path that is going to be abundant and serve you the best. It's going to be a slow going one, but don't put your energy into things that don't serve you. One more. King of Pentacles in the reverse and the Queen of Cups. Be wary of people that try to make themselves out to be more than they are. And guard your heart and your emotions. You're a wonderful person. Your heart is so big. But be careful who you give your heart to. Okay? All right. Sorry it was so short, but it's Independence Day weekend here in the U.S. And it's going to be a very long weekend for me. Like I said, Friday just kind of got away from me. Be blessed. For all of my friends in the U.S., have a very happy holiday. Be safe. And I will see you guys hopefully Monday for the work week top and bottom for next week. Catch you later.